Hi, how are you? We're fine, John. How can we help you? Well, since we're talking trees today, <laughs> um, number one, I have a majority of oaks in our uh, yard. Okay. And the, the, something is clipping the ends of the oaks off about uh, maybe eight, ten inches back to the size of like a, a pencil. Okay. And they're just cutting them straight off, square off. Oh. I don't know what it is. Uh, do you have gray squirrels or fox squirrels? <laughs> we have both. Well, and therein lies, I'm going to guess your problem. There is something about this time of year that I'm, I'm guessing, because I, I really don't know that much about the critters, but this year's brood, if you will, is starting to learn how to manage on its own. I don't know whether parents teach it or it's something in their gene pool, but young squirrels will frequently go up, they'll cut off half of the brand new growth, or frequently they'll go clear back into that pencil size growth from last year. They bite it off. Sometimes they will just let it fall. Sometimes they will build what I call a false or a preliminary nest in, in that same oak tree, or, or they take them to other places, etc. I think you're probably dealing with squirrels. Uh, there are some critters being being insects at this point that are stem girdling they they actually uh put a little larva in there so tiny that you can hardly think of it but it eats its way around the stem of, or the the branch or what have you and it weakens that particular thing it may or may not kill the tip but the next wind that shakes that tree good like we had wednesday night down comes a whole bunch of fine branches. So the one would be a twig girdler type of insect, but I suspect the way you're speaking of them that it's probably squirrels learning to build nests and uh, get ready for the upcoming winter. Well, that's a possibility, and it looks like there might be a, a small indentation, like there might have been something boring in there. Now, the cicadas would not have a, a, a bearing on this, would no, they? No, I don't think so. A cicada has an ovipositor that is uh, going to, well, as they walk the branch, and usually they start in the older growth and head toward the new. They're, they're walking with their feet kind of on both sides of that twig, and the ovipositor is literally splitting the branch lengthwise, and the egg is deposited in that split. So uh, where it can destroy the looks of a young tree for a short time, it would not be the kind of thing that would cause that branch to fall off, perhaps die if they split it too much, but and, and then hold. But as far as coming off uh, as broken, it would be the girdler or back to the squirrel and possibly other things. Oaks in being a native tree, and uh, even though, well, there are many oaks that don't grow here, but still, as a mass of our population, uh, they have all kinds of enemies. Most of them are not lethal, but um, it could be other things, but I would guess heavily on those two.